typical student in me thinks, brilliant, day off, an extra day for studying. Uh, it is, after all, smack back in the middle of my Christmas exams. I tell some of my friends around me, and they're delighted that it hits home. Teachers have decided to block one of the greatest reforms in education in Europe in a very long time because they're not satisfied. They're not satisfied with the absence of rote learning, the fact they'll have to redevelop their methods of teaching and assessment. I empathise in their fears of being pressurised by people from around them to swing marks in certain students' favours, but I must pose two points to this. Act professional. It's your job as a teacher to teach, to educate, to inform. So remember this when you're marking us too. It's our education. Be professional. Ignore those around you and separate your personal life from your work life. I personally favour anonymous examination numbers, etc. But for the sake of progression, I'm fine to put these to bed for now. We have had to make some serious compromises, as we've seen in the last speech. And secondly, who marks our papers at university? A random lecturer who lives at the other side of the country? I didn't think so. But it's not my job to talk about the teachers and their views. It's, it's not my place, and it's, it's not what I want to take this opportunity in speaking to you about today. Because quite frankly, I see today, and this week in general, as a great step in the right direction. Imagine it, students and parents working together. <laughs> it sounds beautiful, doesn't it? But, but it makes sense. We've common interests and we've common goals, and so we should be working to, together to help each other achieve these matters. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Craig McHugh. Tommy Shockley, the Jag Dish, August Tommy Egg Frost, and Jan Scully, Klaus Dries, and Unalgan Kondelu. I'm currently the president of the Irish Second Level Students' Union, the national umbrella body for the student councils in Ireland, and really any secondary student in Ireland for that matter. We represent student voice on matters concerning students, and we're relatively a new and small organisation, having been founded in 2008 and really just taking off in 2012. We're growing by the day, and over the next five months, we'll be campaigning on a number of topics such as voted 16, equality for LGBT students, the pressures of the Leaving Cert, and proudly supporting the JCSA, the Junior Cycle Student Award. So today as a student, a son, a child, as a school student activist, and as a fellow partner in education, I want to talk to you about JCSA. I want to tell you why I like it, why students like it, why it's good for me, and the incredible effect it will have on the future development of this country. The JCSA has been bombarded with neg negativity ever since the word go. Up until now, the public image of this reform has been no more than Teachers don't like it. They're striking. This isn't good for the kids. And I don't want my daughter's exams to be graded by someone who lives down the road from me. But what if I challenged this generalised, media-driven opinion? What if I laid out the facts? And, and what, if, what if maybe a student who's been through the current junior cert system had his say? Well then, it would go a little like this. The JCSA is all about skills. It's all about equipping students with the ability to work with people, work with situations, and develop real life skills. It doesn't abandon the entire curriculum, but instead it adds to it. And what it adds is quite simple, real education. Before I, wish, before I start off, I wish to make a, a solid point. Teachers don't have it easy. Teaching is difficult, complicated, and unfortunately carries with it a confused appearance of, of wealth and, and long summer holidays. I can assure you it's not as lovely as it, as it sounds. ISU and the MPCPP are, are pro-JCSA, but to, this does not and never mean that we will devalue the opinions of, of teachers and their unions. We merely ask they reflect on why they join the teaching profession. Was it to educate and, and foster the minds of young people? Or, or was it to play through the negative stereotypes of long summer holidays and, and public sector pay that so many people have gone about? I've sent 12 junior cert papers, Three ordinary, one common level, and eight higher levels. And what I remember from those three years of school can be shortened into a sentence. I learned what I was supposed to learn, so I could pass my exam. Not what I needed to learn, and not what I should have learned. I left the junior cycle system in 2012, not knowing where Bosnia and Herzegovina or Kosovo was, a rather embarrassing situation to find yourself in at an international conference earlier this year. I left English with little or no public speaking skills, and turned entirely away from the personal writing section because they didn't appreciate my imagination. I left maths knowing how to solve quadratic trinomials up until the final paper, but not knowing how to solve problems outside of them. I left junior cycle, or junior cert as it was called, with a suppressed imagination. 
and generally disappointed that I wasn't educated, merely just part of an assembly line. I felt unjust, and somehow I felt kind of angry. But what made me angry most was the pressure that was placed upon me to excel. My parents, fortunately, are more do your best approach kind of people, so it wasn't depressing my parents I was being bogged down by, but more the workload. The junior year culminates three years of work performed by a student aged 12 and 15 into one day of exams, or one day of exam for your, for your subject, with no attention being placed in the vigorous effort put in by many students over the course of the cycle. A student aged 15 is expected to remember three years worth of information and material for one exam. Can someone please explain to me how this is meant to be a fair representation and marking of not just the student's work, but, but also the potential to excel in the subject in the future? I want to briefly touch on the sphere that, that teachers have, and I also wish to empathize with them too. I respect their opinions, but I do hope they respect their students and fellow partners in education too. The entire ideology around teachers marking their own students or local students' exams does on the surface sound terrifying to some, but what if we looked at the future? What if we recognised the fact that teacher-student assessment isn't as bad as it sounds? For example, who grades the paper in college, like I said? An anonymous examiner? No, it's, it's your lecturer. If teachers grade their students professionally, as should be done all year around, regardless of the education system we serve under, junior cert or JCSA, there should be no problem in this area whatsoever. Again, I wish to reiterate the fact that real education is not present when rote learning is too. Rote learning is, is all about learning answers off word for word, Irish essays being testament to this. I can clearly remember friends of mine performing better in their Irish Christmas exams because they learned a few essays off word for word. Well, I was blessed with an Irish teacher who taught me Irish and not just the ability to regurgitate information. Unfortunately, it didn't reflect like this when it came to assessment. I recently attended a, uh, a JCSA Science Co Consultation event uh, in Dublin. Another step I, I value highly, the, the NCCA, the National Council for Curriculum and Assessment, their, their willingness and want for student voice in this dramatic reform of education. I entered the event feeling like I was the, the wrong kind of student, to be honest to be there, be, but as soon as I realised I wasn't, I realised like, me, like many, I was lost, lost out of interest out of science because I wasn't being engaged properly, I wasn't being shown the relationship between curriculum and the real world. The junior cert revolved around and became a slave to a set curriculum. The JCSA provides schools with the freedoms to introduce exciting new modules that will encourage creativity and spark greater interests in all aspects of education including subjects never before assessed at this level, such as Information Communications Technology, ICT, which is where this country is going for in the future. The JCSA allows and encourages students to challenge the ideologies of the real world, and therefore think on their toes in situations relative to them as students and future key players in society. I, as a school student activist, second level student, son of two parents, and a brother of a JCSA English student, of whom I share great jealousy of, realise the importance of education. Education is the key to a strong-minded, better equipped lifestyle and livelihood. Education should not be focused on moving from one stage to another, but more how and why you're moving on, and allow you to challenge the aspects of life, so that in the future you can make decisions for yourself. JCSA, I won't lie, JCSA is, isn't flawless. I have my concerns. As, as well as we, we all do, but I put them to bed for the sake of progression and the re-evaluation of the morale of education. Because I, I, I believe JCSE is exactly what this country needs and what this country's future deserves. Ireland has a highly educated workforce, but I see in the future Ireland having a highly educated, creative and proactive workforce. The opportunities of personal development that the JCSA offers to students is incredible. I'd like to once again call on individuals to look into the logistics of what this reform is all about. Because I can assure you, it's not all as scary and negative as it seems. Parents want change. Students want change. And I know teachers do too. It's merely a matter of whether or not they're willing to sacrifice those they've worked so hard to serve just out of stubbornness to reform. I'm delighted to be supporting the JCSA alongside the NPCPP 
and would love to see all partners in education doing the same. Education should foster the minds of young people and provide them with the ability to function and work in the real world. The JCSA does just that. The legend Rita Don Myers asked me if the JCSA inspires, and I, and I answered to you now, Don, yes it does. It inspires students to think, it prepares them for the real world, and gets them interested in what, what, what's to come in the future. This education system has incredible potential. The reform for junior cycle is only the beginning of what I believe to be an excellent era of reform and rejuvenation for educating the future of Ireland. Students deserve better. Parents deserve better bang for their buck when it comes to paying for the expenses of 13 years in school. But overall, this country deserves a much greater system of education. So we're ready for the future. The world is changing every day. Technology takes a greater role in our lives every day. But we mustn't lose sight of the basis that education is built on, skills. As a society evolves, education must evolve around it. We as students, and ye as the parents, unfortunately, can't get up and strike. But we can use our voices, and our voices will be heard. JCSA is good for this country. It's great for parents, it's even greater for the students. But it is society as a whole that will benefit the most from the redevelopment and the attention that is now being paid to the morale of education. It's time education receives the priority of which it deserves and that it is allowed to progress into the future. We as a country, as a society, and us in particular, as partners and influential individuals in the development of education have a role here. We need to make sure JCSA becomes a reality for our sake as students and for your sake as parents and for society's sake to ensure this country moves on with the rest of the world. It's time Ireland started, started catching up the education spectrum. I'd like to thank you all so much for your time and allowing me to speak. Uh, my, myself, Joanna Sabershka, the ISSU Education Officer, will be here for the remainder of today uh, and this evening. I'm going to be very happy to talk to you guys about anything. We're also on a big membership drive in an effort to become more representative. So if you have any suggestions for us on how we can represent students better, pop over to us because we don't, we don't bite. Um, I'd like to thank NPCPB for having us here today. Uh, and to John Myers, who's been so kind to us and ISSU over the past few months with everything from support to, to advice, really have helped us along the way, and it's, it's a pleasure to be working with you guys. Um, but I think I'll leave you all now with a, with a quote from William Dershowitz. I, I hope I pronounced that John properly. <laughs> the purpose of education is to make minds, not careers. Thank you all very much, and enjoy the rest of the day.